Hey there. Teddy Rubskin here. Yeah. Whoa. Hey there, Teddy Rubskin here, and today we're talking about the three seashells. Again, right? And the subject's actually come up again recently because of all this fucking COVID-19 pandemic that everybody's going through right now. Um, so, I mean, it's an interesting topic to talk about alternatives to toilet paper, considering that toilet paper has suddenly become a hot commodity. You know, it, 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 toilet paper shortages all over the fucking place. Still. Right? Still, man. I, th I, I thought they'd be able to restock the fucking shelves by now, but no. They're still bare. <laughs> there's, there's still a toilet paper shortage. So, the uh, bear is talking about, again, the topic of how would you wipe your ass without toilet paper. And thus we're talking about the three seashells. Right? Which wait, wait, is from the movie Demolition Man. Right? In, in the future, everything's different in Demolition Man, which takes place in the year... 2032, right? And, uh, actually, in, 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 the, the world we're living in is starting to look a lot more like Demolition Man all the fucking time. It's kind of weird, you know? Because right now we're doing this social distancing thing. So, I mean, it may be, may be a point at some time where people are afraid to touch hands. And we'll be doing what they do in Demolition Man, which is just kind of waving your hand in front of the other guy's hand, being like, be well, right? That might be the new greeting. Be well, right? Not really a high five, just kind of almost touching hands. <laughs> but I mean, in the movie Demolition Man, it, it, it's set up that they don't have toilet paper. Instead, on a shelf where they might have toilet paper, there are three seashells, right? And, and it's like a joke in the movie that uh, Sylvester Stallone doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and that, that's, that's a lingering question. How do you work the three seashells? How's that fucking work? <laughs> and there's some descriptions online where they talk about how you could use, like, two seashells and kind of scrape the poop out of your ass. <laughs> Which, that's disgusting. That can't really be how they do it. Is it? Fuck. But, but, but there is a growing belief that the three seashells are not actually seashells, but rather buttons for operating some kind of bidet, you know? So, is it possible that the toilet of the future is actually a bidet? That the three seashells are actually buttons that operate various functions of a fucking bidet? I, I guess. I still like to think that there's some kind of method that you can use three seashells instead of toilet paper, like literally. <coughs> I think that's funny. But because actually, in the movie, it, it's, it's kind of a setup for a joke, right? The joke is that, uh, you know, Sylvester Stallone, instead of using toilet paper, walks up to this machine on the wall that uh, issues tickets if it hears you cussing, and just starts cussing at it, right? <laughs> and it issues him a whole bunch of fucking tickets, and, and he just takes those. He's going to wipe his ass with those, right? That's the idea. Sylvester Stallone is going to wipe his ass with those fucking tickets issued for, for a dirty language. <laughs> yeah. So, he's going to... Wow, that, that does look very comfortable, right? That, that looks like some hard cardstock paper right there. He's going to wipe that on his ass? That's not going to be nice. <laughs> but, you know, like I was saying, the, the world of the future, right, is starting to look more like Demolition Man all the time. You know? Because, I mean, in Demolition Man, Taco Bell is the only restaurant that exists anymore, right? It, it won the franchise war, like beat out McDonald's, Burger King, fucking all the other restaurants. It's the only fucking fast food place left, right? Well, that's kind of weird, actually, right? Because uh, restaurants are closing all over the place as we fucking speak, you know? And only the restaurants that are staying open are the ones that can do delivery or have drive-up windows. Like, that fucking includes Taco Bell, man. You know what I'm saying? And I have noticed that the lines around Taco Bell have gotten longer, right? You know, what, what if Taco Bell ends up being the only restaurant to survive this fucking thing, right? This is somebody cutting in front of somebody, taking advantage of the situation. No, I'm not. I'm calling the police because what you did is wrong. Oh my God, it's Taco Bell. You know, and actually,
actually, you know, in the movie, people don't even have sex anymore, right? In Demolition Man, people don't have sex anymore. They have, like, some kind of virtual reality sex instead. Because, you know, as Sandra Bullock said, there, there were some diseases. The change of bodily fluids was one of the major reasons for the downfall of society. After AIDS, there was NRS. After NRS, there was UBT. Yeah. The, what, what? NRS? EBT? What the fuck are those things, right? What are those diseases? What were those diseases like, you know? Diseases that actually got people to stop having sex? Holy shit. I mean, we, 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 we've we gone through AIDS and, and fucking lots of fucking venereal diseases, you know? That hasn't stopped us from fucking fucking. But apparently, in the future, there's going to be some kind of disease that's so bad, it actually causes people to stop fucking. Wait, can you believe that? Yeah, yeah. Weird. Right? And stop people to stop fucking, stop actually touching one another. Yeah. <laughs> kind of fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, at what point are we actually going to start cryogenically freezing our prisoners? Because that's what they do in Demolition Man. They cryogenically freeze their prisoners. Which is an interesting solution for an overcrowded prison system. Right? Right now we have to fucking house and fucking feed a whole bunch of fucking prisoners. But if we froze them... We wouldn't have to feed them, right? We also wouldn't have to worry about what apparently people are worrying about right now. That there could be a massive fucking coronavirus outbreak in the prison system. So it's not like the fucking prisoners can socially distance from one another. They're all confined together. So, but if we froze them, hmm, that, that might actually fucking work. In the future, you have to defrost a cop to put a criminal on ice. Sylvester Stallone is John Spartan, the demolition man. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, fucking, the future is looking more like Demolition Man all the fucking time. In fact, for, for, for a better vision of what the future is going to look like in the next fucking 12 years, maybe we should take a look at that Taco Bell of the future, right? That There was actually a pop-up restaurant that popped up at Comic-Con back in 2018. And they, they, they had this restaurant that was done up just like the fucking Taco Bell in Demolition Man, right? There was even, like, a machine that would dispense out tickets if you cussed at it. There, 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 there were three seashells in the bathroom, right? And they, they had crazy mixed drinks from the future. And Taco Bell food from the future, right? Yeah, futuristic fucking nacho fries and stuff. And yeah, this is what the world of the future might actually fucking look like, you know? Because cause what, what do people listen to in the future? Stupid jingles? They, they listen to I'm an Oscar Mayer hot dog and... You know, Valley of the Jelly Green Giant? I isn't that possible? You know, I, I, I think it fucking is. I think it fucking is. You know, we could be living in a world where people don't even have sex anymore. Where they only have sex, like, virtually. People only, like, having sex over Skype. Right? People don't touch each other. Right? We, 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 prison populations are frozen. Right? For storage. <laughs> And people don't use fucking toilet paper anymore. What, what a crazy fucking world. You know. But, but actually, there was toilet paper at the fucking, you know, <laughs> the Taco Bell of the future at Comic-Con. They did have regular toilet paper, but, you know, what? What the fuck? What are, what are we even talking about here? Demolition Man is actually happening? Huh. Well, I mean, in the movie, it's described that Los Angeles was destroyed in a giant fucking earthquake, Right? And San Angeles was kind of built on the ruins of the destroyed Los Angeles. Well, that's fucking crazy. So what, in the next 12 years, where the big one is actually going to finally hit California and, like, wipe out some major cities? Holy shit. We're going to get some fucking diseases that are worse than AIDS? Wow. Yeah. Apparently shit's going to get really bad before it turns into Demolition Man. Right? Oh, yeah, and in Demolition Man, they have cars that drive themselves. Yeah, self-driving cars. Cars that drive themselves. Which, that's going to happen, eventually. Eventually, we're going to get fucking cars that drive themselves. That's really going to fucking change things, you know? Because right now, you know, we have truckers. It, 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 truckers employ a large number of people that drive shit around the country. But if the fucking trucks can drive themselves, then we won't need those truckers anymore. We're going to have massive unemployment. Right? Because of automation. You know? Automation is coming. Automation is changing things. In fact, this whole fucking pandemic has just moved forward a timeline that we, we, we fucking have to deal with the next 10 years anyway. You know? 
automation is going to make, like, warehouse jobs obsolete. The warehouses are going to be able to fucking, you know, monitor themselves. They're going to be done with robots and shelves that can just move from one place to another and then automatically load fucking goods into trucks. Trucks that will drive themselves. Automation is going to make huge unemployment, you know? There's going to be so much job loss just because of technology in the fucking future, you know? And movie theaters are closing right now, but movie theaters would be closed the next fucking ten years anyway because movie theaters are dying, you know? Sure, sure, the last couple, like, Marvel movies and Star Wars movies made, like, a billion bucks, but they, there's a hell of a lot more people that are watching movies streaming, you know, watching movies online and shit like that. They don't want to go to fucking movie theater. So, it's weird. The times, they are a-changing, you know? And, and this kind of pandemic has moved forward a timeline that they, would just fucking be inevitable anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. The world may end up being a lot like Demolition Man. Fucking nuts. But anyway, I don't know. What do you guys fucking think? I love reading comments from you. Please write me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And until fucking next time, keep it fucking real. Supplies limited. It's Taco Bell! All restaurants are Taco Bell. It's Taco Bell! Get to Taco Bell. Dude, you guys are trying to get Taco Bell! Like, give me a brain! And I'm a cornbread in the house. How y'all do? Oh my god, it's Taco Bell! Whoa, oh, cornbread! <laughs> it's Taco Bell! Make it feel like a chili dog in a Lady Gaga video. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's Taco Bell! Got butter all over this shit. <laughs> Get to that butter up. Mm -hmm. It's Taco Bell! Thank you, man. He been awesome. <laughs> Criminal on ice. Sylvester Stallone is John Spartan, the demolition man. The toughest cop in the 21st century. Whoa. But Wesley Snipes is cold-blooded Simon Phoenix. Simon says free! Uh. Now fry like a chicken, chicken. But demolition man always keeps his cool. Hey, you didn't say Simon says. The future isn't big enough for the both of them. Demolition man, figures of bowler jetting sold separately, new from Mattel.